Hello, my beautiful badges. Messi Coda back again with another asset store review. This time it is the Fantasy Horde bundle pack from Polygon Maker over on the Unity asset store. Normally $500 down to $249.99. I know, it's crazy. You're thinking, my God, it's so expensive. Well, it's actually a grand's worth of stuff. It's over a grand, grand $29.89 cents because you get the Barbarians, Classic Barbarians, Dark Knights, Dwarfs, Elves, Enemies, Goblins, Guards, Knights, Medieval Weapons, Orcs, Skeletons, Villages, Zombies, and also you get the, the shaders for the HDLP, the regular animations, undead animations, and warrior animations. So sit back and enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second because we're going Barbarian crazy. Here I am inside Unity, I've imported in a million assets. That's what it feels like, because it took me that long to import in all these assets from Polygon Maker. So you've got the Fantasy Horde Barbarian, the Classic Barbarian, the Dark Knight, the Dwarf, Elves, Enemies, Goblin, Guards, Knights, Orc, Skeleton, Zombies, and Villagers. You also get, uh, it's called this Shader, because it's got the HDRP shaders as well. And you get animations. Another pack you can you can download for free are uh, regular animations, undead animations, warrior animations, not just that. Like if I go back over to, for example, the elves. Elves have got their own animations in there as well. Um, and also, uh, I think, was it the dwarves had a couple of animations in there. And barbarians uh, had some animations for his spear and his archer. So there's loads of stuff in this pack. It is huge, ridiculously big, quite possibly bigger than you might need. And that's why it's the massive bundle. If you don't need the massive bundle, get the smaller ones. But it's on sale at the moment. So it's over a grand's worth of stuff. Normally $500 on sale for $250. What's the quality like? Well, no one likes it's not AAA next gen PlayStation 10 quality. It's um, like the RTS games quality that you'd, you'd be looking or or Valheim-esque reminds me of Valheim like third person kind of view from about here running around or total war but they've got kind of a Valheim vibe to them what also I love about these models is that they are so like component modular so if I get rid of his body you see all these different parts that make him up so we can mix and match to our heart's content. You can see all the different types of helmets there are, and shoulder pads, and elbow pads. And he's got this little skull um, on his belt, where it could be you know, anywhere you want to stick it, really. And different weapons. He's even got a separate weapons pack as well in here. Uh, one downside is that there's no ladies in this pack. Oh no, there's one over here. Oh no, it's a man in a kilt. So there's no ladies in this pack. That's one downside, I would say, for the Barbarians. There's ladies elsewhere in the other ones, but the Barbarians, we need some nice, strong female warrior Barbarians. They did. They are there. They exist. Just not here. That's my one downside from this Barbarian collection. I love that you got this gladiator style here. Gladiators! Ready! This reminds me of the... of um, Not Forest, but Green Hell. Where... You turn around and the natives are there to poke you with a spear. This is the fantasy horde pack. So there's a fantasy element to this. And with all these different barbarians, which are nailed, you also get the classic barbarian. Now the classic barbarian, if I drop him in next to this fellow, you can see the size difference between the classic. He's proper Conan, isn't he? Look at him. It's proper Conan barbarian so the difference between him and the other ones also you notice that his necklace is actually just drawn on and that's what makes you feel like this is more of a rts -y style pack or you know like how valheim has kind of drawn on elements to the detail rather than actually modeled bone necklace that you would expect if you're close-up fighting with him or a close-up hero model so it's works really well if you want a massive RTS or strategy game kind of model pack because you've got Barbarians as I mentioned we've got the Dark Knight and if I go into um, the Knight pack 
Let's go into the Knight's pack and then I'll bring in the Dark Knight into the Knight pack rather than having the Dark Knight by himself. Now, you know, saying that, oh, Messi, you got to go into a lot of detail. Well, actually, you know what? It's very hard because there's so much stuff. And if I did everything, it would be a two hour long video. It'd be really difficult. So if I go over to this little nighty nighty here and we look, it's got 300 verts on, the, on there. His helmet's only 400. Uh, the mesh himself is only 3,000 for the entire body. So they aren't drastically crazy high poly. This is a, a good pack that would work on a mobile as well. And that's what I'm playing about with, actually. Get this mobile, a nice little RTS mobile game. And I love the different types of helmet styles. So we've got European, you know, French style helmets. Uh, well, they're all European, aren't they? Well, let's, let's face it. But you've got this, like, you know, the Frenchy style. Uh, what's that? It's more, more the English style, I suppose? Oh, it's like, what do, you, what do they call them? Round, he round heads? And if I go to the Dark Knight and I drop him in, he's very scary. Look at him. With his big, scary, horned helmet. Love this armour. Bizarrely, the Armoured Knights is like the most high def version out of all of them. Like this could be in a pack with a, with a lot more higher detailed other assets out there on the asset store. As long as it, because you know the heads are covered, but in, and metal so it's a lot easier to make looking detailed. And if I take off his helmet, there's he look. Hello, my name's Kevin the Dark Knight. No, I shall vanquish thee. Where yeah, the knights shall say, wiggle. So if I lift up, hey, hello, how are you doing? It's wonderful to be here. So you can even put on the, on the pivot there. And, oh, we'll see, look, the pivot's in the wrong place. I mean, you, know, you can fix that by putting a, as a child inside another, cont another object, I suppose. You can get away with that. But it'd be better if, you know, if it was up there, because it would open up. Oh, I'm gonna open up and then I can see you. This, maybe like that. What did they come down? Did these ones come down. Where's my dinner? No, I don't think it does. It's supposed to be at the top, isn't it? But there, that would be the hinge. That would be the hinge there. Well, let's pop into another one because there's so many, so many that we need to see. The dwarfs. The other, the other beef I've got is the dwarfs. Okay, the dwarfs. The dwarf pack. They're halflings. I wouldn't call them dwarves. I would call these halflings. Why would I call these halflings? Well, if I go into the uh, classic villagers, right? If I'm going to drag in a villager from the villager pack, so I'm going to drag him in. A dwarf would not be that short to a regular person, would they? So that's what I'm saying. These, these, are more, and they'll be fatter and stockier. So these, I'm going with. Oh, wood. Terribly sorry. There, delete you. These are halflings. Well, maybe in his interpretation, they're dwarves. I just had a pinky out to reimport that. Yeah, it's fine now. It's fine now. So, if you like, you've got any issues, just go bang, reimport, and away you go. As you know, of Unity, many times as you import in your assets, the little thumbnails look all weird sometimes. And then you've just got to go like that and drag them in. Hello! Love his moustache. I love your moustache. Thank you very much, young man. I'm getting a um, asterisk and obelix feel to this guy. A nice variation as well. Good beards. Yeah, no female dwarfs. And then are they? Because there's an um, Grom um, what's his name? What was his name from Lord of Rings? Gromley, Grimley, Gimley. That's it, Gimley. He says that uh, female dwarfs look very much like male dwarfs. So, so there you go. Could. Be they could be females in here, we just don't know. Very nice mix though. Hello! Let's pop now into dun 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 the elves. Because once we do dwarves, you need to do elves. What I like about the elves is that you've got like a dark elf, light elf kind of mix between the two. And you know which ones are the darks, because they're like goths, they've got their I make up on, so you can tell the difference between them. Then you got the little spears, bows, 
you've got animations on the bow so that the bow is actually the string gets drawn back which is nice uh, you've got uh, the arrows don't come out though it would be nice if you had these arrows coming out of there uh, it's got magic staff the skulls on here would have been nice if the skulls come off but they're all one piece on that mesh that's a shame hello my eye makeup's the best makeup of them all and with the elves you do get ladies you get lady elves and you get men elves here's the lady elves at the back and here's the men elves at the front no dark lady elves uh, oh no here they are because they've got they've got makeup on so obviously and she's paler skin so it's obviously they're there and she's got some skulls kind of that's a, that's, a, that's more of a giveaway isn't it it's the skulls rather than the eye makeup you are a dark elf what makes you say that is it the eye makeup no it's the severed heads that you carry around with you so this one is very valheim-esque with the skeletons see that the style you get a hdrp version with this pack as well bear in mind if you're doing hdrp you're like oh i'd like to use this but my my project's hdrp well you don't have to worry about it because you've got hdrp shaders as well included ah oh! bear in mind that the demo scenes are not hdrp demo scenes so you've got to chuck them in look at the gobbos hello my name's Gavin the goblin and then you get two orcs in this enemies pack but then don't worry you get a whole goblin and orc pack as well there's zombies oh he's got a skin problem and you get a whole zombie pack and there's two elves because we had the whole elf pack and we've got two skeletons but don't worry you get a whole skeletons pack so i'm not too sure i mean this is included because it's the whole pack of all of them but if you just wanted a few enemies you could just buy the single enemies pack and away you go you don't need to buy the whole lot if you're not going to use everything you're not going to use zombies and skeletons and orcs you don't need to get the entire pack do you but on a bar on the sale it's actually it's a bit hard because it, it's more cost effective to get it on the sale at half price and in the future you might end up using it so a nice little mix of goblins the faces are anim you know um rigged so that you can have the mouths and the eyes move so you can do lip syncing goblins singing to you if you really want you got lady goblins hello hello is there just one lady goblin I think we just got one lady gob there's under representation for ladies in these packs i have to say need to have more rep representation for the ladies and that's a berserker goblin i'm gonna guess wow orcs hello it's a shaman very valheim -y when you're realizing that they've got goblin shamans as well why are the goblins so tough in valheim it's mean they shouldn't be that tough that's just wrong like guards another pack that i like in here is the guards pack it might be much like the knights pack so you get a mixture of different helmets and their armor that they're wearing like the padded or that guy's going to get his arms all chopped off so you've got the lower class guards and you've got that, that guy's got some nice armor there's some nice detail on these Do you remember what i'm saying about it being like an rts like a total war you can see what i mean now can't you very total war like this would be uh work well if you're making a total war type game yourself and if you were you just need the guards the knights you wouldn't need the entire pack well you could do like a fantasy total war game as well so knights we had to look at let's have a look at the orc pack compare these orcs to look how the orcs and the enemies pack look and you can see that you've got different shapes like stocky muscular ones Grr. So if you go back here you can see what you've got all these different armor components and you can add it onto your own little man here and little banners all pack i think is one of my favorite ones out of the entire lot and then we've got the skeletons just this massive pack here and you get a collection of animations as well don't forget so it's not just models that you're getting in this pack and you get weapons as well which the weapons are interchangeable with other packs and the shields and even at the end of the day the armor you because the meshes you could just stick them on anyone they don't have to be part of this pack so if you are you bought this pack and you were going to use some of the parts or some of the parts that other assets just can't reach so if you're going to use some of these parts in other models and you could because you just easily just attach them to the to the bones of other packs of other models 
I like this guy. It's like a white walker skeleton. Villagers pack, it, it's big. It's probably the one that makes me go, I would love um, you know, more variation in the size of these. And he's sitting up um, to do like blend shapes or fat characters and thin ones. I'd love to see how this pack progresses and develops over the years. You've got a collection of hats over here. Not a massive collection, but a good variation. Maybe add more variation of the hats in there. You've got different kids. Hi! And you've got these materials that you can just mix and match yourself. You're not just restricted to the ones you see in here. You've got the materials that you can just play about and make whatever characters you really want. You're not stuck to what he's given you in his presets in the prefabs. That's just to help you get started. So customizable. So if we go now into the zombies. Into the zombies. Oh, he's, he's going to catch a chill. One of his clothes is falling apart. So you can see what I mean about it's not um, dead rising kind of, you know, running around scary high def models but they would work well in a top down game rts game or even you know sort of stylized game really would work well on these oh my gosh he's got he's got no eyes oh wow oh that they see those are you still freaking me out oh his arms ripped off oh the flesh just hanging down that's disgusting that's disgusting this guy's obviously been in a swamp that guy needs to have some medication. There's a, is that a, a, a mummy zombie? Oh, there's another one from a swamp. That's, I think this is the one that's more swampy. Swamp boss. And that's his mate, Kevin. All right, let's go into the weapons. Dun, dun, dun. Collection of lovely weapons that we've got. Different bows, and don't forget, you've still got others inside within the packs. So this is in addition to what you are getting, as well. This is in addition to the other weapons that we've seen. Oh, nice shields! Turn off Gizmo. Bye, bye, Gizmo. Little things. Uh, having the skull swapper will be nice. Um, look at that mace. No. Axes. Lovely weapon pack. I promised I was going to be promised I was going to be two hours, but it's hard because it's such a huge, huge pack, ridiculously big, and they've got some demo scenes for the animations just to show you that when you click play, everyone just starts running all over the place and doing crazy things. So let's click play. Look, oh, for a second they just ran around and did things. Oh, brains, brains! I'd like to eat your brains. So if I go big, let's do it again. Go one, two, three, go. Brains! Catch! Oh, I'm going to eat your brains! So to be honest, because it's all mechanic stuff, you could use these animations in any project. So what do I think of this mega bundle pack from Polygon Maker? This huge pack. I, I actually really enjoy it. I think for an RTS or a top-down or even a third-person game, this works really well. It makes me think of Total War, like a fantasy Total War game. That's where you could be fighting away from up and then zoom in to see them all fighting each other and rushing around. Or an RTS game where you're building a, a little village. It would work fantastic for something like that. If you do like these videos and want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. Tell all your friends and random people on the street Messi is a hungry skeleton looking to nibble on some barbarians. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell. That if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.